Hello everyone, this is going to be a short and sweet video about SAP. If you are new to my channel, my name is Kevin and I make videos about SAP. I also offer one-on-one -on -one SAP career coaching for students and professionals. I have given the link in the video description now. Let's get into the topic. The first one is overview of SAP. This is the most fundamental question and the typical answer is SAP stands for System Application Programming, which is the name of a renowned software company from Germany. SAP is known for its enterprise resource planning software, which was developed by SAP SE and launched in 2006. SAP software, more specifically called SAP ERP, provides businesses with a suite of critical resource management tools such as customer relationship management, financial, supply chain, and more. While this information is correct, I feel it is still lacking in many aspects. In the Best Global Brands 2024 ranking by Interbrand, SAP is ranked 20th worldwide with a brand valuation of $36.8 billion. Moreover, in Fortune's 2024 list of the world's largest companies, SAP ranks 450th with a revenue of over $34 billion in 2024. The current market value of SAP SE is approximately $286 billion. SAP is a technology company that develops software solutions for enterprises to streamline their operations. For example, if you work in the purchasing department and need to create a purchase order, you will enter the system to generate that document. These actions are recorded in the system and are considered part of an enterprise's operational workflow. Among the many products developed by SAP, the most well-known is the ERP solution. Within the ERP product line, you may come across names such as SAP S4 HANA, SAP Business by Design, and SAP Business One. Additionally, in the market, you might hear terms like SAP A1 and SAP B1, SAP A1 typically refers to products like SAP ECC, SAP R3, or SAP S4 HANA, whereas SAP B1 refers to SAP Business One. SAP S4 HANA is a highly complex ERP solution, primarily designed for large enterprises operating across multiple industries, requiring deep control and possessing substantial budgets to maintain system operations annually. The illustration provided here shows the development timeline of SAP S4 HANA. The term HANA or SAP HANA refers to a new database technology that SAP SE began integrating into its ERP products. Consequently, ERP products now include HANA in their names, such as SAP S4 HANA is SAP's fourth generation ERP or SAP Business, One HANA is SAP Business One using SAP HANA as its database platform. Aside from large enterprises adopting SAP S4 HANA, SAP SE also offers ERP solutions for small and medium-sized businesses, SMBs, under the name SAP Business One. The SAP Business One user community is substantial, with over 80,000 businesses and more than 1 million regular users worldwide. For mid-market ERP solutions, SAP Business One has a long-standing history and continues to evolve with new feature roadmaps. In Vietnam alone, over 900 businesses are using SAP Business One with database versions on Microsoft SQL before version 10.0 or SAP HANA from version 9.3 onwards known as SAP Business One on HANA. The global SAP Business One community is also quite active. For large enterprises and corporations, SAP A1 is the core SAP SE product in Vietnam. This solution is currently available in two packages for businesses transitioning from other systems to SAP, grow with SAP and rise with SAP. A significant difference between SAP Business One and SAP S4 HANA beyond their target market, SMBs versus large enterprises, is system customization. SAP Business One projects often face challenges when switching service providers for custom developments as new partners typically only support standard SAP Business One maintenance. In contrast, SAP S4 HANA users find it easier to transition between service providers. 
This is mainly due to technical factors. SAP S4 HANA uses a proprietary programming language called ABAP, ensuring standardized customization. As a result, when project personnel change, customized enhancements remain structured for seamless handover. On the other hand, SAP Business One allows development in multiple programming languages, which, while flexible, can lead to inconsistencies when changing service providers. For enterprise companies, we have the SAP S4 HANA solution. So what are the differences between SAP S4 HANA, grow with SAP, and rise with SAP? Can SAP solutions handle the complex operational needs of a business? SAP ERP solutions address business operations across various departments from accounting to procurement, sales, production, and logistics. SAP SE now defines these processes with terms like lead to cash, procure to pay, and record to report instead of the traditional module names like SD, MM, PP, and FICO. Beyond core ERP functionalities, SAP S4 HANA also includes advanced solutions known as SAP S4 HANA LOB. Its mean line of business solutions such as advanced warehousing, advanced transportation, and product lifecycle management. The core operational data of these processes is recorded in SAP S4 HANA. Additionally, if businesses require more process management capabilities, SAP provides complementary solutions such as SAP Marcy's, SAP Sales Cloud, SAP Commerce Cloud, and SAP Services Cloud. Other well-known SAP products like SAP SuccessFactors, SAP Ariba, SAP Fieldglass, and SAP Conquer are categorized as modular cloud LOB solutions. In Vietnam and globally, businesses implementing SAP usually start with the core ERP system, SAP S4 HANA. This is why most industry discussions and workforce expertise focus on this product. Implementing SAP S4 HANA requires key preparations, including selecting an implementation consulting partner, infrastructure provider example servers, cloud, databases, or technical services, security services, and post-go-live operational support. To streamline this complex process, SAP introduced RISE with SAP, which bundles infrastructure, technical support, and software into a single package, allowing businesses to focus on implementation and post-go-live support. With the current shift to cloud, SAP no longer supports on-premise ERP solutions. SAP S4 HANA now comes in two packages, rise with SAP and grow with SAP existing. SAP customers transitioning from older versions like ECC or R3 typically opt for rise with SAP with version private cloud edition. For businesses choosing an SAP ERP solution for the first time or migrating from another ERP system, Rise with SAP and Grow with SAP are the primary options. SAP provides software, support, infrastructure, and technical services, while SAP partners handle consulting, implementation, and application management. Key differences between Grow with SAP and Rise with SAP include infrastructure options and customization capabilities. Grow with SAP uses SAP's data centers in regions like Japan, Singapore, or Cloud4C in Vietnam, while RISE allows businesses to choose cloud providers like Google Cloud, AWS, or Azure. Grow follows a fit-to-standard approach with industry best practices, whereas RISE allows more flexible customization. With Cloud ERP and SAP Business Technology Platform, SAP BTP, Businesses can innovate without altering core applications, simplifying system upgrades and maintenance. Nowadays, AI has become a technological trend and has penetrated every corner of life as well as business operations. SAP is no exception to this trend. SAP's AI co-pilot named Joule utilizes data from SAP's cloud solutions to provide answers to questions, guide users, and help them complete tasks quickly and easily. 
the business technology platform, BTP, serves as the foundation for the entire SAP ecosystem. Following the general trend, SAP's ERP products are being deployed on the cloud, referred to as cloud ERP. This cloud ERP includes various products such as S4 HANA, SAP B1, and more. SAP aims to maintain the highest level of standardization for the products mentioned above. For additional developments, SAP provides separate platforms to support businesses. As companies begin migrating their systems to the cloud, reliability and security have become essential characteristics. SAP BTP enables customers to innovate on the cloud without interfering with core applications, ensuring the standardization of SAP systems in operation. On BTP, customers or partners have a suitable environment to migrate existing customizations to the cloud and develop new ones, simplifying maintenance and improving the reliability of SAP applications. All of this takes place in a secure and well-managed environment, with SAP ensuring that customer businesses gain the maximum advantage when deploying SAP while operating alongside other existing systems. In essence, SAP BTP is a platform that facilitates seamless integration of cloud-based systems, enhances security, improves operational performance, simplifies data management, and streamlines the expansion of specialized applications. For more details on this, you can refer to the introduction of SAP BTP. I hope this video can help you understand what SAP is the purpose of SAP's products, and which SAP products are the most well-known. From a technological perspective, by exploring SAP BTP, you will gain insights into how SAP integrates AI into its products, the tools SAP provides for data analysis, how business process automation is implemented, and more. SAP offers not only core cloud ERP solutions, but also numerous other solutions catering to business operations, ranging from CRM, HRM, BI, and data warehousing to the latest technology-driven tools.